Good evening and thank you for being here. Today I am interviewing an amazing teacher Ben Dallaire who has been called out in his district for doing some amazing things with emerging technology in the classroom. Welcome to my show Ben. Hi Larry. It's amazing to be here. I can't wait to share with you this new technology tool that can be used with students to electronically engage and challenge today's learner. It's called Extranormal. Wow, that sounds fantastic. I like technology, but what's the bottom line here? I mean, what's the catch? There is no catch. You pay a basic fee every month or you can pay individually for the sets and characters you choose. It's simple for students to use and is a lot of meaningful applications to education. You start by choosing a theme and deciding which characters you want to star in your movie. The text is read by the characters you choose and it uses text-to-speech recognition to do it. Yes, you can think of many ways that it can be used with my own kids. Really, what exactly are you thinking? Well, in English class alone, there are endless possibilities. My kids could write out a script and have the characters act it out in extra normal. But I don't have to tell you. That's right, Larry. I can even imagine them using it to share poems they may have written as well. It's a lot of fun for kids and they don't even realize how much they are learning. Couldn't they use it for just about any writing activity? Why, yes. Students can use it to report about a current event or to persuade someone about their opinion on a controversial issue. Like the immigration bill. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Well, it sure beats giving a speech in front of the class. I used to hate that. And having the ability to hear their own words read back to them has helped students to greatly improve their grammar and writing skills. Wow. So studies are actually showing that this technology is helping our students. Yes. According to the National School Board Association, educational technology has had a significant positive impact on achievement in all subject areas, across all levels of school, and in regular classrooms as well as those for special needs students. They also say that technology makes instruction more student-centered, encourages cooperative learning, and stimulates an increased interaction between teacher and student. Well, it sounds like education reform is finally evolving, despite all the cutbacks. That's right, and it's even for students who love science. Students can create movies giving step-by-step -step instructions for experiments they have created or describing what they have learned from their own research projects. They can even describe the steps in a cycle, like the water cycle, the rock cycle, or recycled energy. Wow, maybe our government could even learn a thing or two. Ha ha ha, is there any way it can help our economy? Only by teaching kids the skills they need to get valuable jobs that will require technology in their futures. They could even create an online persona describing their unique skills. Kind of like an avatar pitching their own resume. So no then? Nothing to teach our president? Well, math students could create a step-by-step -step guide of how to solve algebraic equations or explain different theorems he could use to balance our budget and teachers could use it to present scenarios for students to solve, provide directions to projects or ask word problems. And what about different languages? Can characters speak different languages? See Larry, see. Characters can speak many different languages and teachers have even been known to use this program to help students demonstrate translations between languages as well as normal conversational skills. Ah, muy bueno. In social studies, Students can create an interview with a famous person from history or recall a historical event as if they were there. They can even recreate our last presidential's debate. Well, who would want to relive that? It sure does sound like an amazing opportunity to motivate students and educators and to extend learning into the 21st century. Yes, it is. Extra normal is a fun way to engage our digital natives to present information they have learned to interact with it on a deep level and to apply it to the creation of their own using the technology of today. Well, it sure beats another boring old PowerPoint. And that's about all the time we have for today. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Duller. <laughs>